asteroids and defending the planet. And so, uh, uh, but before we do that, I want to give you a few little uh, bits of information about the exam. Uh, it is now available for you in your grades page. You can see your score. Um, there's going to be some homework this weekend. Let's talk about that first. I'll give you a small reading assignment, homework five, uh, over the weekend. It'll be due Tuesday. Uh, and also, I've already set up homework X2, and that's a non-homework homework simply to let us know if you want your exam to Scantron printout, kind of like homework X. All right, so you'll have until Wednesday night to do that one. And then what, if you select that you want your printout, then Jenny will get your printout to you. Uh, which we just got about 10 minutes ago. So uh, we have, I haven't even looked at the exam results, but they're up in web courses. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, about the grades and stuff. Now, um, you may have noticed that I posted the uh, eight bonus points uh, for the observatory visit on uh, February 22nd. Okay, that was last week, I guess. And uh, so that's good. And I got those data yesterday uh, afternoon, so then I put it up as soon as I got it. Um, we did have a session last night. Did you go? I did not. Okay. Uh, we're going to ask you some questions about that on the iClicker in just a second here. Uh, but I will post those bonus points as soon as I get the observation handout. And I'm... You know what, I'm not gonna look at anybody when I say this, but if there is, this, so this applies to everyone equally, I'm not picking on anybody. If you go, if there is another uh, observatory visit, please write legibly. Don't write like a doctor writing a prescription. All right, some of those printouts were kind of hard to read, so I, you know, that'll help me avoid headaches and stuff. And I figured everything out, but. All right, clicker question number one, and this one's a sh short answer, so uh, type in the letter A or B, depending on if you went last night. Both answers will be graded correct. We just want to see how many people went. Okay, so type in an A and then hit the send key or type in a B and hit the send key, just to see who, who was able to go. Okay, uh, 10 seconds to vote. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, good. It looks like about 65 of you went, that's great. Uh, next one, I want you to um, hit the refresh key. Um, this one's short answer as well. Just type in with a word or two what you thought was most interesting, uh, what you enjoyed most. Um, and if you didn't, listen to that clicking. Nice. And if you didn't go, uh, just type in Go Nitro or something like that. Does the last one just count? Or? Hmm? Yeah, it's, it's everybody. Did you, get, you didn't get an answer in? No, I was just setting it up. Yeah. Well, get this one and you'll be all right. We've got some more clicker questions. You just came in a little too late, that's all. You'll be all right. Missing one question is not going to kill you. But anyways, get this one in. And remember, I can... S I can see what you guys are typing in. Caldwell, Cladwell. Oh, is Dr. Caldwell there? Is that? Caldwell's a city in New Jersey. I'm not, I'm not really sure about this full moon. Oh, cool. You looked at the full moon. Go mascot. No, I can't really see. So what was this, Caldwell, Cladwell, Cadwell? Uh, it's a star? Okay. Oh yeah, I see Caldwell 13 here. All right, so 
Apparently, some of you didn't really spell it correctly, but that's all right. We'll grade them all correct. All right, I'll give you another 20 seconds. Ooh, binary system. So Caldwell 13 and 14 were a binary star system? Is that cool? I have, I, I have your, your printouts uh, from last time, but I, I'll have to take a look at this one. This is going to be good. Because we're going to be um, starting after the mid, after spring break, we'll be talking about binary star systems a lot because it's pretty important. Okay, 10 seconds to, to get your answer in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, good. Go ahead and see if you can grade those all. So I can see you, a lot of you guys put in some stuff. Somebody typed in the letter A. Who knows what that is? Anyway, so that's good. I'm glad you did that. We'll take a look. I'll take a look at that later. Okay, another couple things. Your exam two uh, grades are posted, as I mentioned. The And it's all Scantron. 50 out of 50, or, you know, so many out of 50. And I believe you can see that in your, is that visible in your grades page? No? Yes? Who's, who's seen it on the grades page? Okay, good. So if one can see it, everybody can. I had some problems with it last night, trying to get it to unmute, so that's why I'm asking. Okay, now this is important, and I want you to make notes about this. Because we have exam two on the books now, for 90% of the class anyways, uh, we're in a situation where the uh, grade denominator is now 140. Okay, so what that means is right now, official regular pointage, um, you have two midterms on the books and those are both worth 50. And then we have homework and that converts to 15 points as it has already. You know, and then we have participation, which you just did some a little bit today, and that converts up to 25 points, okay? And if, if you're below 85% on your participation, um, then um, uh, you have to calculate it uh, in the, in the uh, proportion. But you can do everything uh, to recalculate your semester grade or to estimate your semester grade. Okay, and if you don't remember how to do the clicking uh, pointage, uh, which you may be below 85%, hopefully not, but um, just go back to lecture 12, uh, February 15th, and you know this one here, it was the first thing we did, so pretty early in the, remember we did that, we tackled this proportion, we kind of talked about it. All right, now I just mentioned that the, um, the baseline point uh, value is 140. So that means the maximum regular points. Now this is not including bonus points. You can add that in on the denominator if you want. Uh, but for regular pointage, um, exams, homework, participation, it's 140. So um, if you go by, you might wanna jot this down in your notes, calculate your grade pointage, and then look on this table. So right now, we've got 140 points on the books, okay? And so that means if I were going to give letter grades today, um, I would give an A to students that have 126 points or more, a B, and that's 90% of 140. And then B would be 105 or more, C would be 84 points or more, D is 70% or 70 points, 50% of the uh, possible points, uh, and then F is below that. And uh, so what you want to do um, is the following. You have your two exam, oh, by the way, uh, I think we got some bloopers in there. I, I had an email or a message in web courses last night from a student who said, hey, Dr. B, my, scan my exam two score reads minus one, okay? And what that means is uh, you blooped up your uh, PID or your um, test form or something like that. Now we'll be able to figure that out when we look at your Scantron from this big ginormous stack of Scantrons, which Jenny has to dig through and find 
And since she's teaching today's lecture, we're not going to do that until after lecture because you don't want Jenny to get cranky and stuff like that. Okay? She's a grad student. She can't handle it. Maybe. Well, maybe she can, actually. But anyways, um, so that's what a minus one means. So add up your two exams, and then uh, your, figure out your homework pointage, which we, you know, is a straight percentage. You round up to the nearest whole number. Uh, or round up to the next whole, whole number. Uh, calculate your percentage pointage, your participation pointage, and then add those together. And then add in your bonus points if you've got any. Now those, all the bonus points that we know of are now in the grades page as well. You might just have one or two from early registration. Right? You might not have gotten to the observatory yet. Not everybody's gone. Uh, but just what, if you do have some, add those in. All right, and then decide what you can estimate your grade is. All right. Now, if I were awarding semester letter grades today, just look at this. You don't have to take notes, but take a look at what we got. I, I stacked up everybody's grades last night. Okay, so uh, there's a bunch of students that only have one exam, so I didn't grade 33 of them. Okay, so I didn't figure out what their letter grade is. But for everybody else that had two exams on the book, now that's most of you like 90%, one student has an F if I were giving letter grades today. Seven have a D, All right? And that's out of 200 and something students. So that's not too bad. And hopefully those guys will get their grades up. 65 students have a C if I were giving a letter grade today. Whoa, 109 have a B if I were giving letter grades today. And what about the A? Is Dr. B ultra, ultra tough to get an A? Uh, well, kind of. 36, that's a little bit more than 10%. That's about 12% of the class. That's, that's not too bad. All right, so, uh, and that's a curve. And, and basically, you guys, this is a curve that's been pushed to the top or I should, it's been pushed to the top of the scale. That's my job. I don't want a bell-shaped curve, you know, where it's symmetric around the C grade. I don't want that. My job is to make you guys geniuses uh, in astronomy and push as many of you as I can into the A's. As empty out the F's and the D's, which pretty much they're emptied out here pretty well. Load up the C's, B's, and A's, and as many A's as possible, as many B's as possible. All right, that's the way I'm teaching. And those of you that are ed majors, that's what you want to keep in mind. When you're grading elementary or secondary students, uh, you want to break the curve. That's your job. Teach them, challenge them, and uh, show them how to get there, which is what we do every day in this class. Now, one of the things that you're um, in life, that is important, but there's no letter grade. There's just the thanks of humanity that you'll get. And that is defending the planet. And so this is a real asteroid here. This is the asteroid Eros. Are you talking about that today? No, but... Well, we'll, t we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll, I'll be talking about this one. Anyways, so Jenny's now, I'm going to switch over to her. Uh, PowerPoint, and we're going to record it, and I'm going to run the, the clickers, questions, and stuff like that. Hopefully, I won't screw up, and she's going to give you a little talk about defending the planet.